In the ancient city of Anshan, now part of modern-day Iran, Cyrus II, known as Cyrus the Great, was born around 600 BCE. He was of Persian ethnicity and belonged to the Achaemenid dynasty, being the son of Cambyses I and Princess Mandaun of the Median royal family. Historical records primarily emphasize Cyrus's significant actions rather than detailed family life, though he likely had siblings. His marriages, first to Cassandane and later to various princesses from conquered lands, reflected his political strategy of fostering unity through alliances. Cyrus practiced Zoroastrianism, deeply influencing his style of governance. His belief in Ahura Mazda led to policies that promoted tolerance and respect for the spiritual practices of the peoples he conquered, setting a standard for cultural respect. Although little is known for certain about his daily life, accounts suggest that Cyrus valued simplicity and pragmatism. He was known to prefer spending time among his soldiers and subjects, indicating a grounded and accessible leadership style. Initially a prince under the rule of the Median Empire, Cyrus seized control around 550 BCE through strategic military victories, thus establishing the Achaemenid Empire. This marked the beginning of a new era in Persian history. Cyrus is celebrated as Persia's greatest king, known for pioneering administrative systems and respecting various cultures. His leadership style, combining military prowess with humane governance, left a lasting impact on history and the principles of effective leadership. Before his rise to power, Cyrus focused on cultivating alliances and gaining military experience. These efforts culminated in his revolt against Median rule, setting the stage for his eventual dominance in the region. His military campaigns against the Medes, Lydians and Babylonians were marked by psychological warfare and diplomacy, showcasing his strategic brilliance. This approach contributed significantly to his success as a conqueror and leader. While his policies earned him respect among those he ruled, his military campaigns instilled fear in his opponents. This duality made Cyrus a paradoxical figure, admired for his governance, but feared for his military might. Cyrus the Great remains a monumental figure in history, embodying leadership ideals that resonate even today. His life and legacy are crucial for understanding not just ancient Persia, but also the timeless nature of power and compassion in leadership. His achievements and governance style continue to be studied and admired, highlighting the balance between strength and empathy in effective rule. Cyrus's ability to unite diverse cultures under one empire sets a precedent for modern leadership. The legacy of Cyrus the Great has transcended time, with his influence seen in various aspects of modern governance and cultural respect. His vision for an empire that valued diversity and tolerance remains a model for contemporary societies. Not only was Cyrus a conqueror, he was also an innovator of governance. His enactment of the Cyrus Cylinder is hailed as the first declaration of human rights. His innovative approach to rule has inspired countless leaders throughout history. Cyrus's leadership principles are often referenced in discussions about effective governance, emphasizing the importance of respecting cultural differences and fostering unity. As a historical figure, Cyrus serves as a reminder of the potential for leaders to wield power with wisdom and compassion. His life and accomplishments provide a blueprint for those who strive to lead with integrity and vision. Cyrus's story is one of ambition, strategy and compassion, offering valuable lessons for current and future generations of leaders. His ability to successfully manage an empire while upholding humane principles is a testament to his extraordinary vision. Through his conquests and policies, Cyrus the Great established a legacy that continues to influence the world, reminding us of the enduring principles of leadership and the impact one individual can have on history. Cyrus the Great is believed to have died around 530 BCE. The exact cause of his death is not definitively known, as historical sources provide varying accounts. According to the ancient historian Herodotus, Cyrus died in battle against the Massagetae, a nomadic group led by Queen Tamiris. Other sources, such as Xenophon, suggest that he may have died from natural causes. The lack of consensus and the passage of time have led to uncertainty regarding the specific circumstances surrounding his death. Nonetheless, it is widely accepted that his death marked the end of a significant era in Persian history 
and led to the rise of his son, Cambyses II, who succeeded him as king. Was Cyrus truly a good king or merely feared? The opinions vary, but his transformative impact on governance and respect for cultural diversity earns him admiration even today.